here. When we train crows, we let them understand that nobody cares what you know if they know you don't care. For more Sophie, get that right elbow up. I want my students to feel that I care for them. That's number one. I care about them every aspect of their lives. And I will do everything that I can to show that the way I teach, the way I talk to them, the way I give respect to them, and I want them to feel that I have given everything I have. I really like how the coaches are so super friendly to you and they don't, they say everything positive and never yell. He's really creative when you need to do stuff and he's really nice when you don't understand stuff. Now the question is, how do you show a student that you care? Well, we try to let them know, number one, we're not going to ask you to do something that you cannot do. You might not be able to do it today, but you'll be able to do it. You have to get in your mind, if any human being can do it, you can do it. And number two, we'll give you a why for every how. We'll tell you why this works and why you need to do it if you want to be the best player you can be. You should sign up for Tennis Institute because we teach how to play the game, not just how to hit. We research researchers. When we see research come down the block, we test it out, we check it out and see if it actually works, if it makes any sense. Does it make scientific sense? Does it make practical sense? Can a human being actually do that? In, in every program that we do, in our clinics, in our summer camp, we offer two parts. The first part is learning the skills. So in the morning, you would do all the drills, and all the drills are designed so that it's strategic based. We work on percentage. Tennis is not a game of perfection, it's a game of percentage. Now the question would be is, what's the percentage thing to do? Well, you, we go through a series of those so that you know exactly why you're practicing what you're practicing. I think the standout is that um, my daughter is encouraged and excited about learning tennis. They always say keep a good attitude because it helps and that was, has really helped me because if you can't be mentally positive then it affects how you play. Lenny will always start the tennis camp with the preparing the mind first. We always give a positive talk on the very first day, the first thing in the morning. There's a lot of positive feedback on things that you do well. You get, you understand what needs work. We no, don't ignore that because we can't. But when people start doing well, it's, yeah, that's the way. Now you got it. Sophie, I love you, but you're about five foot three hitting that serve, maybe. Okay, I need you to be, be tall. Be nice, Annie. That contact was very good. It was high and you reached up, you were able to use your wrist to pronate, very good. I, I think they know what level to push your child at. You know, they'll, they're, they're serious and they want everyone to learn and become good players. Go. Good. I like the swing. Now just bring your toss back more. Okay. It's still too far in front. They stretch me to like get better and actually focus on what they're trying to teach and that's really helpful. At the Tennis Institute, not only do you learn tennis, but you learn other parts of life. You get the kids on the court and we talk about the rules of competing. And the number one rule about which we speak is integrity. And they ask me, what's integrity? I said, integrity is simple. Integrity is doing the right thing even though nobody's watching you. The second rule is tennis etiquette, being nice to other people on the court. 
when we talk about that, we say it's not only important on the court, it's important off the court as well. We do goal setting. We have kids write down their goals. And there are three areas of goal setting. First of all, writing crystallizes thinking. If you think, well, I've just got them in my head, I gotta tell you, every day, all of our lives have a lot of distractions. If you don't write it down, you're gonna get sidetracked. Write down your goals. If everything is structure, everything has its own time, every second is spent a lot of food. So it's going to be a tournament, maybe a one-point tournament team competition. All right. That's good. Ready? On your toes. Down the line. Public speaking is an integral part of our program. Even we the little kids, we start them slowly by when we call the roll, they have to yell out here loudly. It's not here, it's here. So we start them off doing that. And then when they come to summer camp, we teach them how to speak. We have a no like zone, for instance, no extraneous likes. We teach them how not to upstage themselves with their hands. Or... And I can tell, um for my 13-year-old who started in this program when she was nine, a little bit more on the introverted side, she's really uh, blossomed to become more of an extroverted uh, type person. So in terms of confidence, my daughter's gained a lot of confidence and she displays it in every aspect of her life. It's something scary to do, but once you do it, you've really achieved something. She goes out there, she wants to be a leader of all the groups she's with. If you come to Tennis Institute, you will come to the place where you will have fun, and you will have caring people that will teach you. And everything that we teach you is based on the research. There's no value to being a championship player if you're not also a championship person. It's what you learn while you're doing it that gives you the value to your life and helps extend to every other part of it.